I came across an article on Seeking Alpha that basically said I could buy Amazon Web Services and get Amazon e-commerce for free. And that piqued my interest. And I'll show you where I found the article, and I'll share some of the information with you at the end of the video. But basically, it, it fell into my whole belief that the future of the internet, the future of advertising, the future of big data, the future of our economy is all wrapped around uh, artificial intelligence and the efficient use or monetization of big data. And I ask myself, who owns the big data? Well, it's basically Microsoft, Apple, Google, and Amazon. And so if they own the data and they're going to use the internet, the Internet Revolution or Digital Revolution 3.0 to more efficiently not only advertise to us, but make companies more efficient in what they do. Where should I invest my money? Then I got to thinking, I have all, always preached by the, by the company or by the people that run the company rather than the company. And I have total respect for Jeff Bezos, and he picked uh, Andy Jassy as his CEO, as his replacement for CEO of Amazon. And where'd he come from? He was the CEO of Amazon Web Services. So I guess I kind of summarized from the article, from what I saw Jeff do, what I've read about Andy Jassy, that the future of Amazon is not in me buying more stuff, but it's instead of Jeff and Andy monetizing the data they have. I also then ask myself, well, who has the computing power? Well, as I understand it, one of the people who own a quantum computer is Amazon Web Services. So in this video, I want to talk to you about don't buy Amazon, what you think of Amazon, but buy Amazon Web Services. And do I think you're going to get a return on investment that will be satisfying or gratifying in the future? Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I've decided that I want my channel to be about education, not advice. I don't want to advise you what to do. I want to educate you and point you in the direction so that you can further educate yourself to make good investment decisions. What do I want from you in return for me doing that? Since last November, Amazon went from a high of $188 down to $108. That means it's 45% or 43% on sale. I think this is an opportunity to buy. Do I know if it is going to go further because of inflation situations or interest rate? Uh, I don't know, but I really think if, if investors looked at Amazon uh, realistically and said, okay, interest rates, should that affect the price of Amazon? I don't really think so. Amazon has more money than it needs uh, to stelve off the cost of, uh, of uh, high interest. They don't have a lot of money um, in leverage. Uh, as far as inflation, Warren Buffett made a statement, I think it was back in the 80s, that the companies that are going to survive uh, inflation the best are those with low asset costs. And that is to say, uh, the assets that they hold are low cost. They, they aren't buildings that have to be rented and maintained. They aren't a lot of people that have to be paid. And, and as their wages go up, uh, they have to be 
increased wages. You don't have to offer vacation pay. That's that's a high cost asset business. On the other hand, Amazon Web Services is a very low cost. They have paid um, software engineers to produce a a a means by which big data and artificial intelligence can make businesses more efficient. So if they sell to this company and uh, ABC company and CDE company says, hey, I want that same thing, it isn't like they have to manufacture anything. It's just a cut and paste and, and we sell it to them too. So their ability to Um, to uh, take advantage of what they've produced and resell it over and over means that they don't have to spend a lot of money. They don't have to have a lot of hard assets to increase their, their sales. On the same side, because of the lack of high cost of assets to make your company work, you have high margins. Uh, It's not unheard of. Uh, Amazon Web Services has had um, uh, margins as high as 45%. More recently, they're in the 30%. And I suspect that's because they are spending a lot of money on quantum computing and machine learning. So they're doing some upgrading of what they do. I came across um, a, a piece I subscribe to the Wall Street Journal, and I have uh, a uh, online uh, access to it. And I came across an advertising piece that Amazon puts out, and it really opened my eyes, or I should say, Amazon Web Services. And it opened my eyes to as to the scope of what they offer. Let me show you what I saw. I subscribe to Wall Street Journal, and I get it online. And I came across this. It's actually a paid program, um, and it's paid for by Amazon Web Services. Reinventing with the cloud. Discover how millions of organizations are using AWS cloud to innovate and transform with unparalleled capabilities. This is a view of the future. This is a view of what Amazon Web Services are. There are 25 companies, 25 industries that they highlight here showing how Amazon Web Services can help them move into the Digital Revolution 3.0. This is what Amazon owns. This is their their true asset that is going to propel their stock in the future. And that's why I'm saying you don't buy Amazon for its e-commerce because you can only buy so much stuff. But these people, these industries are becoming aware of how the data that Amazon owns can make their businesses grow exponentially. This is the age of artificial intelligence and Amazon Web Services are going to lead us in that direction with competition from a few other companies such as Microsoft and Google. But this is the future. What I saw there is the applications of what Amazon Web Services has and the businesses that they can help. And I made a list here uh, just as I went through that. Uh, Medicine, education, transportation, and that is uh, for autonomous automobiles, supply chain, advertising, financial services, security, whether it be national security or police departments identifying the next shooter. And the, 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 the list is endless. As, as you saw in that piece, Amazon shows me 25 industries there that they're already active in and that how they can use their existing data plus the data that those companies or those 
uh, industries have gathered in their own databases and bringing them together and then adding Amazon's massive computer power and uh, software in artificial intelligence and machine learning and how it can improve the scope of the business. I hope you saw the video I did where I talked about our experience at the Indy 500 where uh, for a, for a t-shirt, my wife gave up all of her contact data plus all of her uh, driving data, that is, for what kind of car she has and what kind of car she's interested in, and how I envisioned that Amazon Web Service could add to the, add to their services that, and then create a video and 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 an email and a video to Nita, and it would speak directly to her. It wouldn't be a video of this is what a Corvette will do. It will would be a video that says. This is what a Corvette, how a Corvette would fit into your life, Nita. And this is what you will give you for your Porsche. So it, it becomes a, a totally immersed individual experience. And that's why I want to invest more in Amazon Web Services. Not so much Amazon Prime or Amazon um, uh, e-commerce. I, I've got pretty much all the stuff I need. All I need to do is replace uh, ink cartridges and buy new running shoes and new t-shirts, but I've got pretty much what I need. So they aren't going to make a lot of profit on me there, and their margins aren't go that good there, but their margins are phenomenal in Amazon Web Services. So that's what I look for. Then what I did was uh, I, I, I analyzed their balance sheet, I analyzed their numbers, and I, I've put that together. And if you'd like a copy of that, I'm going to put it uh, a link to that in the, dis, in the uh, description, and it's going to say Amazon numbers on it. So if, if that's important to you, uh, click on that in the description, and I'll email that to you. It's a, in fact, it, this is... This is the sheet of it. Uh, it. It analyzes in depth all their numbers, and that will help you in there. So I look at it, and I say, okay, I want to own Amazon Web Services because I think I'm going to get a good return on my investment. Now, what I want to then say is, all right, if I want to own an more of Amazon, and let's say I'm totally invested, what, what do I want to sell? Um, to be very honest, I'm taking a long look at Facebook or Meta. Uh, I think Meta will be a major player in the future, but I don't know how far down the line that is. And so that's what I'm going to talk about in tomorrow's video, is what am I going to do about Facebook? Uh, they've lost a lot of their value recently because of government reg governmental regulation, because of a move that Apple has made that makes it more difficult for um, for. Uh, 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 Facebook to target advertise, and then Google is saying, "Hey, we might do the same thing." So that's and and then TikTok is is coming like a storm on them, and and then I guess the other issue that I have is I have three advisors that uh, I I talk to about this, and uh, they're my grandchildren. Uh, one of them's 17 years old, one of them's 19, and one's 22. And I ask them, do you use Facebook? And, and they say, no. Well, that's the future. How is Meta going to capture them? Uh, that's what tomorrow's video is going to be about. So what can you do to make sure you keep up if this is the kind of information you want, not financial advice, but financial education, and me sharing my gathering of knowledge as I go, what can you do? Well, the first thing you do is 
And then the second thing is you ring the bell. And the third thing is you come and join our tribe. Our tribe is a group of people who set, come together and say, hey, we're all in this game together. Why don't we work together? Why don't we exchange ideas and exchange information rather than try to go it alone? I have found in my 77 and three quarters years, if I can build a team, if I can turn a individual sport into a team sport, and if I can gain a, a, a access a good coach, I got a much better chance of winning. That's what the tribe's all about. Talk to you again tomorrow. Music.